Saffron Pulao. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today we're making a classic green masala prawn pulao. This is a super easy dish to make. Shrimp is cooked together with rice in a delicious green masala and coconut base. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. With any recipe that uses basmati rice, I am first going to soak it. I have two cups of basmati rice here and I'm going to soak this for 30 minutes. In a blender, I'm going to add the juice of a lime. One tablespoon of green chili. A one inch piece of ginger. I've sliced it just to make it easier to process. I'm going to add four cloves of garlic and one cup of fresh coriander. I'm going to grind this and you may need to add a little bit more water to get it going. This is looking good, but I'm going to process it a little more. In a pot, I'm going to add a quarter cup of oil and I'm going to saute a half cup of sliced onion. I'm going to add about five to eight cloves and I'm going to allow the onions to sweat and change color. Add a half cup of chopped tomato. Next, I'm going to add the star of the show. One pound, seven ounces, that's approximately 800 grams of shelled and deveined and cleaned prawn or shrimp. You can add more or less as per your preference. Add all of that green masala in. In my food processor, I'm going to add two cups of water just to catch all of that residual flavor. Mix the prawn together with the green masala and add salt to taste. I'm going to add one cup of stock. You can use any kind of stock that you like, but I'm using my homemade shrimp stock made from the shells of the shrimp or prawn. I'm also going to add one cup of coconut milk and I'm going to mix it. Add the two cups of water that I added to my food processor earlier and allow the liquid to come to a boil. Add the rice. Give it a stir. Often I will stick this into a preheated oven and allow it to cook. But today I'm using a heavy base pot and it will cook just fine on the stove top. I'm going to taste for salt and add salt as required. I'm going to add a half cup of peas halfway through the cooking process and I'm going to cover it to complete cooking. This should take about 10 to 15 minutes, but it depends on the size of your pot and the heating elements, so you do need to keep checking the grains. If there's liquid left over, I will cook it open in the last few minutes. And this prawn pulao, I mean prawn pulao, is ready to eat. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Food Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this very simple recipe for green masala prawn pulao. This is one of my favorite things to eat. And don't forget, I am running a giveaway on my channel till the end of the year. This includes a box full of my favorite ingredients, including a cravings, apron, and a mug. So all you need to do is comment on any video with the hashtag cravings, and you will be entered automatically for your chance to win. All of the details are in the description. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, guys, and share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends. 
and do leave me a comment in the comment box if you like this video give it a thumbs up so i could make more of these kind of videos also follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels i'm on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter until i see you next time do take care happy eating bye